All right, here we go. Nintendo Direct. I'm Typhlosion Tycoon. Uh, thanks for joining me. And uh, I'm excited for this to get going. One day, Pyra just disappeared. Find her anywhere. It was as if she vanished off the face of all rest without a trace. Where have you gone? I'll find you, whatever it takes. This is where you were. Pyra! Sorry, Rex. I couldn't tell you. Because... I got an invitation to join Smash! Huh? Huh? Oh, I thought I was gonna be in Smash. Just sit back and leave it to me, Rex. Behold the power Egypt. Smash player! You powered up your smash attack with fire! Flame Nova! Prominent Revolt! Blazing End! That's genius! You're pretty much owning them! And these are seasoned fighters! There are no pushovers! Talk about a tight spot. Mithra? Let me handle this. Mithra! Cutting it close, huh? Hey, were these guys planning on me? Gee, I feel kind of bad now. Coming through! Lightning Buster! Who's on it? Ray of Punishment! Throw with us! Foresight! Whoa! You can even use that! Try it right here! So you two can swap between each other freely! Serious fire! Blinding speed! Together! Nothing can stand up! Quite the spectacle, aren't they? Wait, grumps? Uh, I've missed you so much, buddy. Mind if I watch a while? Oh, look, our friends are here. And there's some more. You're all mine. I'll lend you a hand. Sacred arrow! Unstrung! Burning stone! Nailed it! Sure did! Which is our power! Shulk? I never expected to see you two again. Well, now that you're in Smash, I won't go easy on you! Ooh, fighting words. You forget. We're fighters too! Wow, so yeah, she is from uh, Xenoblade, uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, which I have not played yet, so I will have to look into that game and uh, play that one soon. Minasan. Hello, everyone. Yes. It's been a while. I'm Shinya Takahashi from Nintendo. 
Last year, we delivered some news through a series of Nintendo Direct mini presentations. However, we haven't been able to present a Nintendo Direct in this style for some time. I'm happy to share this Nintendo Direct with you all today. We appreciate your continued support. Okay, what you just saw was the reveal trailer for the newest fighter in the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game, Pyra and Mithra. They originally appeared in the Xenoblade Chronicles series as Rex's two-in-one ally. Please look forward to seeing their moveset in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. This fighter releases in March, so we hope you'll stay tuned just a bit longer. All right, let's continue with our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Stumble toward greatness when Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout comes to the Nintendo Switch system, Summer 2021. You have 22 minutes before the solar system is destroyed. Venture into the vast reaches of space to uncover the secrets left behind by an ancient civilization. You have 22 minutes. After that, the sun will explode and the solar system will be annihilated. However, everything will reset, allowing you to continue exploring while retaining information you gathered. By repeating these cycles, you'll gradually unravel the mysteries hidden in the universe. What messages will you discover? How can you prevent the sun from exploding? Why is the solar system trapped in an endless time loop? Find out when the critically acclaimed Outer Wilds launches on Nintendo Switch, Summer 2021. Put your sleuthing skills to the test in two classic murder mystery games. Famicom Detective Club, The Missing Heir, and Famicom Detective Club, The Girl Who Stands Behind, two deep cuts from Nintendo history, are coming to North America for the first time. Localized in English and modernized for the Nintendo Switch system. Suspense, drama, and twists and turns await at every corner. You'll be on the edge of your seat as you dive into these deep narratives set in Japan. In one game, you'll solve a complex murder case surrounding a wealthy family in a haunted village while dealing with amnesia. But that's not the only case to crack. In the other game, you'll investigate a supernatural rumor after a mysterious death to free students from a sinister nightmare interrogate suspects and hunt for clues to piece together these chilling conundrums. Can you figure out who the culprit is before it's too late? <laughs> Uncover the deadly truth in Famicom Detective Club The Missing Heir and Famicom Detective Club The Girl Who Stands Behind, coming to Nintendo Switch May 14th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. A new age of battles begins. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
The latest entry in the Samurai Warriors franchise is coming to Nintendo Switch. Dive into the history of the Sengoku period as the series now shines the spotlight on Nobunaga Oda and Mitsuhide Akechi. Character designs and visuals have been revamped for this installment. Unleash high octane moves in electrifying 1 vs. 1000 battles. In Samurai Warriors 5, slashing its way onto Nintendo Switch Summer 2021. The vast world of Fadiel beckons. Cup of tea, but, After know, 20 long years, Legend of Mana out. featuring remastered HD graphics is coming to Nintendo Switch. You'll set off on a journey to find the mystical mana tree seen in a dream. Before discovering the world map is empty. During your travels, you'll acquire special items called artifacts. Place them on the map to bring towns, dungeons, and other lands to life. It's up to you on when and where to place artifacts, as well as how to advance the story. Join forces with characters, each on their own personal quests. Square off against fearsome monsters. Or take a break from adventure and rest up at home. The music has been rearranged for this enhanced version, and you can alternate between the new arrangement and the original soundtrack. Other features have been added, including the ability to turn off enemy encounters, as well as the new minigame Ring Ring Land. Legend of Mana will launch on Nintendo Switch June 24th. I have important news. So it's finally beginning. Go assemble the villagers. Fifty years ago, Kamura Village was attacked by the Rampage and Magnum Malo. And we suffered some devastating casualties. How can we fight against that? Our hunter is about to face the biggest challenge go, yet! Go. No! We can't lose this gate! Pull yourselves together! You're not getting in! Let's go, everyone! Go rampage somewhere else! Uh, you listen to me now! Here it comes! Watch out for the apex! Do not let it pass! The rampage? How long do you think it's going to last? Noah, we should start preparations right away. We're here to offer assistance. We must stop the calamity! Gotta say, the story seems pretty interesting. Though. Wow, I like that controller too, in the Switch. That was the latest trailer for Monster Hunter Rise from Capcom. How will our heroes fare against these ferocious monsters? Stay tuned for the latest installment in the Monster Hunter series, launching March 26th. Next, please take a look at this.
the fairway is open once again. Tee off in the latest installment of the Mario Golf Series, coming to Nintendo Switch. Study the wind and terrain. Take your time to think things through. Then swing. Enjoy golfing with familiar Mushroom Kingdom characters on courses filled with lush, natural scenery. Use features on the greens, like a shot gauge, to see how your shot will curve due to slopes. And a scan that lets you examine a course's terrain. These features can help you ace your shots. In addition to button controls, you can also use motion controls by holding a Joy-Con controller like a golf club. Gently swing the controller to have your character swing in the game letting you easily enjoy the sensation of golfing. On top of all that, there are several modes with new elements that truly bring the heat to Mario Golf, including this one, Speed Golf. Here, it's always your turn. Everyone tees off at the same time, then you'll race through the course to reach your ball. Give it another whack to get it closer to the hole, then keep going. Outpace your opponents to come out on top. Your golfing skills aren't the only things at play. Make use of dashes and special shots to beat the competition. Oh, did we mention story mode? As a me character, you'll start out as a rookie and develop your golfing skills while interacting with various Mushroom Kingdom characters. Level up with experience points earned during matches. Then allocate points to different stats, allowing you to develop your character however you'd like. You can also use your me in versus play. Put your golfing skills to the test when Mario Golf Super Rush swings onto Nintendo Switch June 25th. Pre-orders begin on Nintendo eShop after this presentation. The latest game in the Mario Golf series adds new gameplay for multiplayer modes, as well as the familiar golf gameplay with easy to learn controls. Please look forward to this game on Nintendo Switch. Let's move on to more Nintendo Switch headlines. Check out these games coming to Nintendo Switch. Return to the unforgiving world of Pandora in Tales from the Borderlands. Play as the Hyperion lackey Reese and the quick-witted con artist Fiona as you set out to recover a mountain of cash. Set between Borderlands 2 and 3, this game includes all five episodes, filled with classic Borderlands humor. Gangsters, bandit lords, and vault hunters are just a handful of the obstacles you'll encounter in this choice-driven narrative adventure. Embark on a wild ride when Tales from the Borderlands launches on Nintendo Switch, March 24th. 32 of Capcom's most beloved arcade classics are coming to Nintendo Switch. Rewind gameplay, adjust game speed or difficulty, and select from a variety of display options to relive that sweet arcade goodness. Get 1943 The Battle of Midway for free, then purchase game packs or the standalone Ghosts and Goblins add-on to build your collection. Local co-op play is also available. Scratch that nostalgic itch when Capcom Arcade Stadium launches later today. Okay. Brains! As a zombie, you just can't get enough of them. In this action game from Aspire, you'll build your zombie horde and take revenge on the city by turning humans into your undead allies. Replenish your bodily arsenal of sputum head, gut grenades, and more during your grisly mission. This city ain't no match for a dead man. Stubbs the zombie in Rebel Without a Pulse eats its way onto Nintendo Switch March 16th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. It's Travis Touchdown versus Assassins. Wait, aliens? Aliens have invaded Earth. Hold up, is this even the right game? Anyway, after annihilating an entire city, the aliens have taken over and now host an intergalactic superhero ranking tournament to decide Earth's fate. Here we go. As the crass, beam katana wielding assassin Travis Touchdown, you'll need to fight your way to the top to save the world. Hey, 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 not so fast. To enter each boss fight, you'll have to do some odd jobs around town and earn enough to pay off the entry fee. You'll then face off against a slew of unusual opponents. Most of them aliens with some crazy tricks up their sleeves. 
study their tactics carefully to gain the upper hand in combat. With a new and improved Death Glove, you'll have access to a variety of deadly skills that can be customized and upgraded before each match. The fate of the world is at stake, so get ready to kick some, uh, whatever aliens have that you can kick. Anyway, it'll all make sense when No More Heroes 3 lands on Earth. Or, you know, Nintendo Switch, August 27th. Exterminate demons in he heaven. As above, so below. Why do they need assassins in heaven? <laughs> to do someone's dirty work. Killed. You won't last long if you can't rely on yourself. God's judgment has nothing to do with it. Uncover Heaven's Mysteries in Neon White, coming to Nintendo Switch, Winter 2021. The DC Superhero Girls are here to save the day. Hi, everyone. My name's Barbara Gordon, AKA Batgirl. I'm always inventing new gadgets to fight crime, like my batarangs and backhook. This is Supergirl. She's super strong and has heat vision, plus super breath. And let's not forget Wonder Woman, an Amazonian warrior who wields the lasso of truth. Along with our friends Green Lantern, Bumblebee, and Zatanna, we fight evil supervillains to keep our city safe. But we're not just about the super life. We also have our school lives. And trust me, there's never a dull moment at Metropolis High School. Sometimes it'd be nice to get out of class and do some shopping downtown with my besties. Ooh, and maybe take some photos to share on Superstar Post while we're at it. Hey, hey, I got a comment already. Nice. Ooh, and I definitely want to hit up Sweet Justice later. Uh-oh, something really bad is threatening the city. No one could have seen it coming, but when Justice calls, you can count on us to answer no matter what. We've just got to make sure no one figures out our secret identities. DC Superhero Girls Teen Power heroically source onto Nintendo Switch June 4th. <laughs> Get that for my sister. Ready the juice cannons and prepare for battle. join you in your adventure. Hint, anyone can. Band together on a quest to face evil and save faces. Miitopia's coming to Nintendo Switch. Cast me characters in various roles across the kingdom. Turn your favorite people into your allies or even make someone the nefarious Dark Lord. Makeup has been added as a new feature in this game. Glam up your Mies and get them ready for adventure. 
There's also a new wig feature, letting you go wild with your me creations and make them even more fabulous. In the world of Miitopia, relationships are key. So consider spending some quality time with allies to strengthen bonds. This can give you an advantage during battle. If your relationship's sour, though, things might take a turn for the worse. Whoa! You can have a horse as an ally? That sounds pretty yeah. barn good! Care for it, and it'll lend a hand, or poof, in battle. Venture with friends and familiar faces in the lighthearted romp, Metopia. Coming to Nintendo Switch, May 21st. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. <laughs> Super Mario-themed items are coming to your island. Super Mario Bros. 35th Anniversary-themed items are coming to the Animal Crossing New Horizons game. Familiar items like the Super Mushroom and the Question Block can be ordered in-game as furniture items. So place them however and wherever you'd like. You can also place two warp pipes. then use them to travel between locations on your island. Hey, why not try recreating the Mushroom Kingdom? A free update for the game launches February 25th. After downloading it, Super Mario Bros. items will be available via Nook Shopping starting March 1st. Keep an eye on the official Animal Crossing Twitter account for the latest information. We hope you continue enjoying life on your island. How was that? These collaboration items will be released as part of the Super Mario Bros. 35th anniversary events. Please wait a bit longer for their release. Speaking of which, last week, we had the global launch for the Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury game. We hope you enjoy that Mario adventure as well. Next, we have another game to show you. will answer for its crimes today. Are these the wages of loyalty? Raised earth and burnt corpses. You and no other must decide how we proceed. You are a leader and must be the beacon others look to when the night is darkest. Together with these fields, today you burn. I promise to do all in my power to see us through this safely, every last one of us. Far, far away lies the continent of Norzilia, comprised of three nations and limited deposits of salt and iron. The constant feuds among the nations over these precious resources eventually ignited into a great conflict known as the Salt-Iron War. Though the hostilities ceased with an uneasy truce, decades later the flames of war threatened to engulf the realm once again. You are all that remains. Caught in a tangled, fiery web of plots and conspiracies, a brave group from Glenbrook fights to save their kingdom from the powers that would orchestrate their downfall. Our benefit, you say? Ah! 
In this new tactical RPG, battles take place on terrain with different elevations. A character's attack range is determined by their location and their equipped weapon. The range can be extended by attacking from higher ground with long-range weapons such as bows and arrows. Thus, your forces can use the terrain and other elements to gain the upper hand. An enemy outflanked is susceptible not only to your initial attack, but also a powerful blow from the ally positioned behind the enemy. What have we here? Charge into an enemy to send them flying into position for a follow-up attack. We win. Link attacks together by first casting ice magic on the flames to create water terrain. Then electrify the area with lightning magic. It is of the utmost importance to survey the battlefield before taking action. Throughout the story, you will be faced with making important decisions in a variety of situations. Utility, morality, liberty. Collectively, your decisions will establish your conviction, affecting how the story unfolds and who will join your cause. Once more, I would ask you plainly, do we or don't we relinquish Prince Roland to Estrost? Critical decisions that may determine the fates of nations are settled by vote on the scales of conviction. Use information you've gathered to sway allies toward your favored cause. The story will significantly change based on how the votes are cast. So they refuse to relinquish him to us. Lies! His hand was forced! As more and more critical decisions are made, your journey may take you down paths divergent from those of other players. You will see what true might is! Project Triangle Strategy, a brand new tactical RPG from Square Enix, will launch in 2022. Please be on the lookout for more information in the future. After this presentation, a demo version of this game will be available to download on Nintendo eShop. And in the future, we'll conduct a survey to gather player feedback. We look forward to hearing your responses on the demo. Please look forward to future updates on this brand new tactical RPG from Square Enix. Okay, let's see a few more Nintendo Switch headlines. Calling all hunters. Do you have what it takes? Star Wars Hunters is a competitive, free-to-play online game set between Episodes 6 and 7. Clash in this third-person shooter coming to Nintendo Switch in 2021. All right, let's do this. All right, Sal. <clears throat> do I look at you or the camera? Knockout City interviews, take one. We all play for different reasons. Hmm. Gorgon love battle. Gorgon use many weapons. Triple bladed war axe, spear of misery, Hades soul devouring crossbow. A princess is supposed to lead her people, not be stuck up in some tower waiting for a hero. In my line of work, bullets are constantly whizzing past you. Flaming longsword, blade of doom. Just once, just once I'd like to catch one of them bullets. You know, with my hands. With this crown, I'm gonna lead my team to victory and kick some serious ass. <laughs> Look, it's simple. Corgan want new weapon. In Knockout City, I'm like a kung fu master. I can catch bullets. Come get some. Be the ball! Catch me! 
But not the war. Uh, uh, hey, can we redesign our characters? You're not a team if you're not wearing a uniform. Max, this is a war zone, oh. not a bloody fashion show. Pass to me. Uh, what? Interview's over. Oh, come on, man, one more game. The fight for survival starts now. Hang on tight, because you're all going to play a little game of fate for me. From the creators of the Danganronpa and Zero Escape series comes a fight for your life, literally. Disoriented and trapped in an underwater theme park, the 12 of you, known as the Go-Getters Club, must now survive this game of fate at all costs. I don't want to die yet! Sorry to scare you all, but... The game is suddenly called off. You escape the theme park and get a glimpse of Japan, but everyone's vanished. Set off on a captivating journey across the country that blends side-scrolling action with suspenseful narrative. The one behind the whole game of fate! As you make your way back home to Tokyo, you'll alternate between working solo and teaming up with the group to overcome challenges and monsters that stand in your way. What awaits you all at the end of your journey? The battle for survival begins in World's End Club. Venturing onto Nintendo Switch, May 28th. Wield the powers of Olympus with the physical release of Hades. Hades, the critically acclaimed dungeon crawler and recipient of multiple Game of the Year awards, is getting a physical release on Nintendo Switch. This version comes with a couple of extras to assist you on your journey out of the underworld. The first is a PC download code for the Hades original soundtrack. It's packed with two and a half hours of blood-pumping music composed by Darren Korb, known for his work on previous supergiant titles like Transistor and Bastion. The second is a 32-page full-color character compendium featuring portraits of the game's vibrant cast of gods, ghosts, and monsters all by Supergiant's art director, Gen Z. And let's not forget the game itself, offering dozens of hours of exhilarating action paired with a compelling story. Escape the Underworld again, or for the first time, with the physical version of Hades on March 19th. Three deadly action games, one masterful collection. Ninja Gaiden Sigma, Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2, and Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge are coming to Nintendo Switch as the action-packed Ninja Gaiden Master Collection. You are the legendary ninja Ryu Hayabusa, fighting against a great evil with battle skills that are second to none. Wield an arsenal of killer weapons, each offering a playstyle with different set of lethal skills, along with ruthless ninjutsu to swiftly take down enemies. Quickly gauge your opponent's movements while unleashing fast and frenzied combos, and team up with other super ninjas in your quest to fulfill your destiny. All previous downloadable content, including costumes and game modes, are included. Revel in the intensity of Ninja Gaiden in one dynamic collection. Ninja Gaiden Master Collection slices its way onto Nintendo Switch Summer 2021. More battles are coming to Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. There's even more coming to Nintendo Switch. Bravely Default 2 is almost here. 
four heroes of light will soon embark on a journey to restore the crystals. Use the job system to develop your characters and master the brave and default commands to emerge victorious in turn-based battles. I live to fight. Veterans and newcomers to the series can enjoy this brand new story on February 26th. A new trailer for Bravely Default 2 will be revealed following this presentation. The game can be pre-ordered on Nintendo eShop. An updated demo is also available. The latest installment in the legendary Ghosts and Goblins series comes to life. As the brave knight Arthur, you'll unleash weapons, spells, and skills to battle monsters across challenging stages within the demon realm. Local co-op play is also available for the first time. Help Arthur in his quest with one of three supporting characters. Barry for defense, Carrie for transportation, or Archie for bridges. Ghosts and Goblins Resurrection launches February 25th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Eight protagonists, eight captivating journeys. Saga Frontier has been remastered for Nintendo Switch. Travel through a stunning sci-fi world with any of the protagonists, each with their own stories. With the addition of the playable protagonist Fuse, new gameplay features, exhilarating battles, and a new scenario for the protagonist Acellus, Saga Frontier Remastered is an adventure not to be missed. The game launches April 15th. Apex Legends is storming onto the Nintendo Switch system. This free-to-play battle royale features a growing roster of powerful contenders named Legends, strategic combat, cross-platform play, and more. All players on Nintendo Switch can get an all-new Legendary Pathfinder skin and 30 free levels for the Season 8 Mayhem Battle Pass. Plus, for the first two weeks after launch, earn double XP when you play on Nintendo Switch. Fight for fortune, fame, and glory when Apex Legends enters the fray March 9th. How's it going so far? There's still a little bit more to show you in today's Nintendo Direct, so we hope you'll stick with us. Next, please take a look at this. Hello there, I'm Eiji Aonuma, producer of the Legend of Zelda series. I'm sure a lot of you saw me and thought there might be news about the sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game. Unfortunately, we don't have anything to share right now. We apologize. Development is proceeding smoothly, and we should be able to bring you some new information this year. For now, we'll have to ask you to wait just a bit longer. While you're all waiting, however, this Legend of Zelda game will be coming to Nintendo Switch. Please take a look. Let's go. Twilight Princess HD to still play, so... Uh, what you've just yeah, seen is The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. This game originally released in 2011 on the Wii console, and now it's coming to Nintendo Switch. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword featured a control scheme in which players would use the Wii Remote Plus controller as a sword and the Nunchuck controller as a shield. With the increased processing power of the Nintendo Switch system, the controls here are smoother and even more intuitive. And we've recreated the controls for the sword and the shield here by having the player hold two Joy-Con controllers. The Joy-Con controller in your right hand is the sword. Swing it to have Link swing his sword in the game. The Joy-Con controller in your left hand is the shield. By lifting the controller, you can raise the shield to block enemy attacks. You can perform other actions like using both controllers to wield a bow and arrow. These physical movements add a sense of urgency and tension to combat. But we've also made it possible to play the game with button controls to ensure it can be played in handheld mode or on the Nintendo Switch Lite system. After mulling over how to assign different gameplay elements to different buttons, 
we decided to apply the sword motions to tilting the right control stick. Tilt the stick down when you want to swing the sword downward. To swing to the right, to the left, or diagonally, just tilt the stick in the respective direction. Here's something else we've been working on. Specially designed Joy-Con controllers. The right Joy-Con controller is themed after the Master Sword, while the left features a Hylian Shield motif. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, as the game depicting the earliest story in the Legend of Zelda timeline, details the events around the creation of the Master Sword itself. We hope that people who played the original game on Wii, and those playing it for the first time, will enjoy discovering the origins of The Legend of Zelda. First time or that'll be me. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD launches July 16th. Following this Nintendo Direct, you'll be able to pre-order the game on Nintendo eShop, and the specially designed Joy-Con controllers will launch on the game's release date at your local retailers. Many of you may already know this, but The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword was the last original console game prior to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game, and it was still following the established conventions of The Legend of Zelda. However, it gave a glimpse into many features and innovations that would eventually be adopted in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, using the sailcloth to descend in midair, a stamina gauge that depleted as you scaled walls with vines or ran, even the concept of collecting items to upgrade gear, I hope those of you who've played The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild will give this game a try as well. Please look forward to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. Well, what did you think? The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword has been optimized for Nintendo Switch. It includes intuitive motion controls and button controls by tilting the right control stick. Okay, the next game will be our last announcement for today. Please take a look at this.
a year away. One of my best friends, he raves about Splatoon and plays it all the time, but I have yet to actually play a game. So what you've just kind of seen is, is the latest installment in the Splatoon series, Splatoon 3. This game is scheduled to launch in 2022, so it'll be a while. We hope you'll stay tuned for more information at a later time. Today, we showed you a sampling of games coming to Nintendo Switch. A variety of games are in development. And we look forward to sharing more news with you in the future. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. All right, so quite a bit of uh, content here. Um, lots of games that are in development, going to be coming out within the year. Um, we got Splatoon next year. I think I'm most hyped for uh, Skyward Sword right now since I haven't played that yet. Um, so I think that's what I'm most looking forward to. Uh, the, a lot of those uh, remastered games and those indie games seem pretty interesting as well. I, I haven't really been like a big indie game person. Like I haven't really tried too many of them. But um, I think that's something that I'll definitely uh, look forward to and maybe uh, give it a shot, you know, as I start this channel and uh, get things rolling. Uh, it'll uh, make me want to try new things. So... Um, I thank you guys for watching this video with me. Um, if you like the content and you want to see more, uh, feel free to subscribe uh, or follow me on my uh, social media. Um, but until then, I'll see you guys next time. And uh, yeah, take care.